Okay, Jason Edwards. And Dr. Pai. All right, you guys sound good. All right, okay. everybody here. Thank you for joining us on Facebook Live. We are here today with a great show uh, starting pretty soon. So hang on tight. Thank you all for listening. We have actually uh, got our show stats recently in. We're, 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 we're taking off. And we have countries from all around the world. Uh, so we just want to appreciate uh, everybody for taking the time. Uh, you would be surprised. I'll read it next time on the show. Every single country that is tuning in and listening to the show, I was so impressed. Hello, Ireland, Sweden, Australia, New Zealand, Curacao, China, India, India England, Germany, France, uh, and some countries I actually had to look up, by the way. <laughs> so, so I appreciate you all listening and tuning in to our show. All right. All right. We've got about a minute and 20 seconds. We'll be live. Okay, so today we're going to have a great discussion with Jason Edwards, everyone. Stay tuned because this is something that you want to learn about, all about Ayurvedic herbs and joining the rebellion with us. Also, I want to mention uh, right now that we will be having our Food is Medicine retreat in the wonderful island of Curacao. We'll mention that in a, in a little bit during the show, but if you want to go to sanjevany.net, uh, you'll be able to see our Food is Medicine retreat in Curacao, August 5th through 11th. Come join us and have a great health vacation. Join us in paradise. It is so beautiful in Curacao and never gets hit by hurricanes. Nope. So totally safe. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Awesome. All right, 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go, everybody. The show was about to start. As soon as you hear the music, we'll be Trouble. going live. All right. Okay. Thanks. Welcome to Take Back Your Health. Your hosts are Dr. Sunil Pai and Maureen Sutton, who will explain the shocking truths about health care, prescription drugs, food and supplement industries. They will help guide you to take back your power and feel great again. Now, here's Dr. Sunil Pai and Maureen Sutton. Welcome, everybody. This is Dr. Sunil Pai. And I'm Maureen Sutton. Hi. <laughs> and today we have a great show um, before we start today, we do want to make an, a wonderful announcement that we have now uh, officially launched the announcement of our Food as Medicine Retreat uh, in Curacao this August, August 5th through 11th. So for those people who want to join us in the most beautiful wellness island known currently right now in the planet Earth, it's go to sanjevani.net, S-A-N. J E V A N I dot net and look at the food is medicine retreat and join us. We have also a special guest, Robert Scott Bell, who will be joining us for the week. Wonderful food, organic food that will be all imported in an all star, uh, all star, five star, all inclusive health vacation. So today our guest is really interesting. Today we're going to talk about rebel herbs and joining the rebellion. And you know, as as a, a topic that we've spoken many times on the show is Ayurvedic medicine and the use of herbs. And as most people know with my reputation as an integrative medicine physician, we're always looking at potency, purity, safety, efficacy, and even more so now, sustainability and how things go from farm to table. And today we have a wonderful guest who's gonna explain a very progressive company called Rebel Herbs. And uh, Maureen, first give a little introduction to our special guest, Jason Edwards. Okay. Jason Edwards is president and CEO of New Axon, bioscience. Embracing the wisdom of ancient Ayurveda with the use of ultra-modern technology, Rebel Herbs, a subsidiary of New Axon, has a full line of powerful formulas and superstar single herbs from certified organic farms that they helped create and finance. Their proprietary full-spectrum process gently extracts the complete array of phytonutrients using a combination of supercritical CO2 and and hydrophilic extractions. This process allows the delivery of a complete signature of each herb in its pure concentrated form. No chemical solvents, thank you, and or high heat is used in the process, ensuring optimal stability and complete profile of compounds, just as nature intended. This new holistic extraction process allows for a better absorption and a more complete and consistent activity in the body. 
The improved benefits are evident in the clinical trials and resulting U.S. and international patents. Just speaking my language. Well, thank you, Jason, for uh, coming on our show today. So tell us a little bit about yourself and what got you interested into the natural products industry. And more importantly, I know you're a veteran in this industry for about 20 years, but what then led you to specifically Ayurvedic Herbs and the company Rebel Herbs? Well, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, a lot of... Um a lot of history uh, in, in my uh, career. Uh, to, to begin with, to get into natural products, um, I actually started out in the Army. Um, after 10 years in the Army, I uh, developed an allergy to petroleum products, mm -hmm. which at that time I had no idea that that was a, a common ailment and that I had no idea how it was actually impacting my health. Mm -hmm. um, I developed uh, some sinus issues and skin lesions, and uh, the Army uh, promptly decided it was time for me to leave. Uh, so uh, I separated from the Army with a, with a medical uh, discharge, and uh, my father-in-law at the time was a, uh, a sales rep for some major companies in the industry. So I went to work for him, and um, through education offered by those companies I was representing, learned how to cleanse my liver and how to, to uh, rid myself of the, the issues I was dealing with. Um, one of the beauties of being in this industry is that most people who get into it as a, a manufacturer or a product supplier, um, really at their core, they have a good heart and they want to teach you and they want to educate you. So we had a great education from the word go. And for the last 20 years, I've still, I, I've never stopped learning. Um, from my competitors, from uh, my mentors, and uh, most, uh, most importantly, I think, from uh, the folks that I have met um, associated with this uh, new venture of ours. Um, you ask how I got into Ayurveda. Um, I was working a trade show booth in uh, 2000, and uh, a, uh, a large Indian guy came in the booth and said, uh, I'd like to talk to you about supercritical extraction. And turns out that is a, uh, that's Girish Salman. And ah. he's, he's my partner and uh, my board chairman, my mentor. Um, and he introduced me to our guru, which is uh, Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Sri Krishna Podki. And Dr. Podki is our formulator. He's, he's a third generation Ayurvedic physician. He was uh, Dean of the oldest school of Ayurveda. Wow. Uh, for 20 years, he was a formulator for his own company and then became a formulator for us after we bought out his, uh, his uh, pharmaceutical company. Uh, so he's a great guy. He's in his 70s, but you wouldn't know it to talk to him because he's very progressive in the way he addresses Ayurveda. Um, one of the things that drew me to his philosophy was, you know, a lot of, a lot of practitioners of Ayurveda like to quote the ancient text as though it was written in stone. And Dr. Fodke is more of a guy who likes to question everything. He's the original rebel. He's the reason that we started ah. Rebel Earth. Okay. Great name. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. I like, I like the, the phrase, join the rebellion, you know, because <laughs> it means so much today, by the way. So <laughs> there's an undertone to even the Ayurveda and the natural world, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, this is true. This is true. So, so he's been an input of taking traditional Ayurvedic formulas. And one of the things that I actually did meet Gurish, I had a, a, a great uh, opportunity to meet him. And then when I went to the booth and I was talking to him, you know, I'm very critical, as everybody knows, critical thinker. Uh, and I went and I, I, you know, I went through my questions, boom, 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 boom. And it was like, he was able to answer all of them. And I was like, oh, can I take you home with me now? <laughs> like, can you come work? Can I, can I, you know, buy your company or can you join me or whatever? Cause it was that, it was that level where he was explaining and he was showing the videos and all of the farming practices. So can you explain a little bit about the sustainability? Cause I want to start on in the show today. I want to get a little bit from the, from the ground up, like how the people are selected or who the people are there at the farms. And then later on, we'll get into later on the show, specific formulas. And I want everybody at home to get a pen and paper or write this down or listen to the show multiple times because we want you to learn about specific Ayurvedic herbs and formulas that you can use every day or for certain conditions that you might need additional help or assistance with. So tell us about the, the sustainable practices that are doing that you use for growing the herbs. Well, uh, that's, um, that's a big part of our story. And, and one of the beauties of being in the industry that we're in is that we have a story to tell. We're not just buying raw material from one company, moving it to another and 
turning it into a capsule. Um, our parent company is a company called Nystarga Biotech out of India, and their roots go back. In fact, in a few days, they're celebrating their 25th anniversary wow. in the natural product industry. And the way they got started was they started uh, manufacturing a certified organic uh, fertilizer. And that developed into a whole range of products that are certified organic. They're for um, biodynamic farming, specifically designed around the Vrukshar Ayurveda or the, um, the texts that deal with farming and agriculture. Right. So it combines the, the best practices of 5,000 years ago with the best practices of today and, and the certifications of today. So taking that as their foundation, uh, they, they later on got into herbal extraction and, and later I, I got involved. So now today we've developed a whole ecosystem of our own. We have our own three, three of our own certified organic farms. Excuse me. I was really impressed when I saw the videos. Oh, they're that, beautiful. That they're Absolutely. beautiful. And in yeah. fact, you know, to get organic in India too, it's, it's a big feat because there is so much pesticides, herbicides used in India and China, even in the United States. And so, you know, to go out of your way uh, in those countries is, is amazing. And also it's good for the workers and the people who actually work on the farms because we're also right. looking at their health and wellness as well. Exactly. Well, and we wanted to take it a step further. So, you know, establishing your own certified organic farm is one thing, but we wanted to make this a part of the culture because obviously it's a part of our culture as a corporation. We, we developed this fertilizer. We want people to use it. Um, so we actually uh, established a, um, uh, a cooperative. Nice. We brought the, all those family farms in. We educated them on organic and biodynamic farming. We, we taught them about Brookshire Ayurveda as well as uh, our certifying agency, which is EchoCert. And, um, then we invited them to join us in that uh, organic certification process. Now, I, I have to explain this because I come from Indiana, and in Indiana, there's a lot of family farms. A family farm in Indiana might be mm, 1,000 acres. It might be 5,000. Some of the bigger ones are 10,000 acres. Right. And I know these farmers, I, I've, I've grown up around them all my life, and, and they're growing things like corn and soybeans. By, mm. And... and so to make a, a profit, they, they grow these huge fields and then they, they put that's the, the grain in a bin and wait for the price to, to go up three or four cents or whatever. And then they sell it and they make their money for the year. Imagine trying to do that on two or five acres. Right. <laughs> yeah. The average farm, uh, family farm in India is about two to five acres. Okay. Right. So if, if you were to try and make your money on the indigenous crop of rice there, you wouldn't be able to do a very good job. Of it. Right. But, but so, your company then is supporting then hundreds of farmers then. So it's not just one large company with a few people and a big, a lot of machines going up and down the farm. You're talking about like hand selected, hand picked or hand like traditional farming methods. Like yeah. a cooperative. Yeah. And, and, mm -hmm. and all of our cooperative farmers are, are doing exactly the same thing we're doing. They, they hand pick the weeds, to, you know, we, nice. we tag certain ones and say, hey, you know, you've got a great farm for Bacopa, let's say. Let's, mm -hmm. uh, let's develop a Bacopa market, and then we'll use your Bacopa. And then as that grows, we can grow your crop. And, and those kinds of uh, uh, relationships give us a really good um, uh, depth to what we're doing. So we do grow uh, a great amount of herbs on our farms, but there's no way we're going to be able to keep up with just the the three farms that we have. So we've actually farmed, no pun intended, we farmed that out to our cooperative as well. Right. <laughs> so uh, for example, we, we actually pay 20% above market value for the product that we buy from our cooperative. Wonderful. So it's fair trade, sustainable, organic, right? So this is, this, these are all the things and following the farming practices of traditional Ayurvedic medicine yeah. and, and the Ayurvedic text, you know, looking at biodynamic, this has to do with, you know, temperature, weather, season, cycles of the moon, everything. So this is what makes actually the phytonutrients and compounds as potent as they are. And so this is a wonderful, wonderful thing that you're doing because most companies don't do that. You know, one of the things that we want to talk about when we come back from this break is that we're going to be talking about how Jason's company, Rebel Herbs, does something quite unique. And it is about using 
CO2 extracts and hydrophilic extracts. And we'll explain what that means, but it's basically, it's like a one-two punch. It's like, how do we take and, and honor the plant, extract out certain compounds, and then blend them back together, right? So it's almost a synergy of a holism. They call it a holistic extract now, I think the term is, right? Yeah, so, okay. so we'll be right back after these messages from our wonderful sponsors, and then we'll get into wonderful, wonderful, how does this product work? Again, join the rebellion here with us. Fantastic concept. I can't wait to hear about it. <laughs> All right, you're clear. All right, give me a 30-second uh, limit next time, okay? All right, so everybody on Facebook Live, we're here with uh, Jason Edwards from Rebel Herbs. Just spoke about his company who provides wonderful, sustainable, organic, biodynamic cooperative family farms, which again, this, we're not talking about big agri industry. We're not talking about Monsanto or, or Roundup or, or, or sprays. We're talking about using real herbs with real people. And this is like a rebellion because we're actually looking at how can we develop an economy with using traditional farming methods that have been proven for thousands of years. And this will translate into how we get better products. And at the end of the day, that turns into how we can improve our overall health with better products. Yeah. And these, these are in the south of India where the climate is absolutely perfect for these herbs to grow. Well, and, you know, we, we mentioned just briefly that it's a lot easier. It's not easy to make an income off of two or three acres using corn or soybeans. But, you know, when you're growing certified organic bacopa, for example, or uh, turmeric or something like that, that's a whole different uh, uh, model. You know, that, right. gives, that gives those farmers a lot more grist to to take home right and I, and I think it's it's nice because you know a lot of times uh, people don't know that with with farming practices how many people have illnesses who farm due to mm -hmm. the sprays and chemicals and you know even here in the united states we already contract that certain people who are using gmo crops etc they have more illnesses on their farms and, and just the, the people who work around those areas itself mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm growing some of the Ayurvedic herbs myself in pots here. Of course, we're not in the ideal environment, <laughs> but it's interesting, like turmeric and ginger, how long it actually takes for those plants to mature so that you can use them. And I don't think anyone realizes exactly. how long that takes. Yeah, yeah. We, we actually are growing turmeric and ginger, uh, special kinds, black, uh, black turmeric and mango ginger, and wow. uh, I'm getting ready to plant a crop of um, ashwagandha in Indiana. So my staff uh -huh. is uh, taking care of those plants and, and we, we just really enjoy having them. In, yeah, in you have to baby them in Indiana, <laughs> I know. Ashwagandha in What's Indiana, America? that is in America. All right. You are tuned in to Take Back Your Health. To reach our program today, call 1-866-472-5792. That's 1-866-472-5792. Or by email to radio at sanjevni.net. That's radio at sanjevani.net. Now, let's return to Take Back Your Health. Welcome, everybody. We're having a great discussion here with Jason Edwards from Rebel Herbs, we joined the rebellion, talking about sustainable, organic, biodynamic, cooperative farming in India, using traditional Ayurvedic methods on how we grow, respect the herb. Now, Jason's going to tell us a unique way, which they're calling the holistic extract now, of how they take a high supercritical CO2 extract and also a hydrophilic extract. For those who don't know what that, those two words means, Jason will explain it to us. <laughs> Good. I don't that. know what this, it means. Is, when, when I met Gears and he told me about the process, I was like, okay, he's, he's on board. Like, I just, these are the things that I look for because I understand potency, purity, safety, efficacy from a physician standpoint. So go ahead and explain to the listeners what does that mean? Because uh, most people see uh, powders. Like, I just get a, a powder and I put in a capsule. And then they see standardized extracts. And then you've gone one level, two levels higher of using <laughs> supercritical extracts and uh, hydrophilic extracts. Explain what that means. Doc, I think the most important thing is to uh, start the conversation about extraction. Okay. Not enough companies actually even talk about their extraction process. They don't right. give you enough information to make an educated decision. In Ayurveda, they used ghee, which is clarified butter. They used uh, milk to extract some things. They used wine to extract some things. They used water, urine, 
they used a lot of different um, uh, catalysts to extract what they needed from those plants. And we progressed beyond what well, we think we have. We progressed beyond those. Uh, but there's two basic polarities within every plant. There's, there's compounds that, that are fat soluble. And we call those lipophilic. Lipo means fat, right? right? Philic means loving. You put those two together, you got fat loving. So right. those are your fat loving compounds. Then you have hydrophilic. Hydro means water and philic again means loving. So the hydrophilic love water. So when we started looking at the plant as a, uh, as a whole being and saying, okay, we can pull out this curcumin. Let's use turmeric as an example. Curcumin is a alcohol soluble uh, compound found in the turmeric plant. A lot of people think that curcumin is the same as turmeric, but it's not. It's only a small, small part of it. About three to five percent, correct? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we get a ninety-five percent curcumin uh, extraction or preparation, that means we've thrown away ninety-seven to ninety-five percent of the plant, right? Right. A big portion of the other part is the aromatic uh, oils, and those oils are obviously fat soluble. They're they're lipophilic. So we go in and we do a CO2 extraction. Supercritical CO2 is a fancy way to pull all the fats out of the plant. And here's how it works. It's, it, it's simple to explain. And, and I, I've been explaining it for 20 years. Uh, so, uh, you know, stay with me on this. Sure. We take carbon dioxide, which is what we exhale and plants inhale. Okay. We put it under extreme pressure. We're talking about 5,000 PSI. Wow. We keep it a little above room temperature, around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And it begins to vacillate back and forth. It becomes a liquid and then a gas and then a liquid and a gas. That's super critical. Right? Okay. Wow. Uh, if you go to, if you take it just a little bit below that, say 2,500 PSI, it'll turn that gas into a solid liquid. Wow. Now that solid liquid is still going to pull. It's going to be a solvent for fats, but it's not very efficient. When we take it to the supercritical point, that 5,000 PSI, and that vacillation back and forth allows it to penetrate the herb as a gas and pull out the fats as a, a liquid. And we do that process for about three hours in our, our big machine. We've got a really cool 100-liter uh, machine in India that's got all kinds of gizmos and widgets right. on it. It pulls out a pure, thick uh, oil that is the aromatic oils from turmeric. Now, okay. that, that aromatic oil is mostly something called tumorones. Right. Tumorones is a whole class of chemicals found in turmeric that are very valuable for their skincare uh, options, for their uh, uh, aroma, for their flavorings, and all that. But nobody in America cares about them because we've been taught curcumin is what turmeric is all about. All right. Sure. So are they like essential oils? Uh, they're, they're similar to essential oils. They have essential oil... Um, components within them but okay. it, aromatic oils are a little more broad uh -huh. right, a little more uh, therapeutic in nature okay so you've extracted the co2 you get the kind of the fatty content of all the important phytonutrients phytochemicals of the compound and then you have another hydrophilic right so in turmeric's case we'll go with an alcohol extraction we'll pull out the curcuminoids using an right. alcohol extract in order to um uh, get rid of the alcohol. We have to heat that up to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That begins the evaporation process. Okay. That evaporates off the alcohol, and then we can combine those two, and we have a, a low temperature drying process that creates our powders. Right. And those powders are super versatile. You can put them in uh, cold water, hot water. You put them in tea or coffee. You can put them in any kind of food, like even oatmeal or yogurt. Uh, we have some recipes on our website. Uh, because we do offer single herbs in uh, this, this powdered form. Now, when you read my label, it's a lot different than the label of typical companies because you'll see we don't have 95% curcumin oils. Right. And we have a much lower percentage. It's much more, um, uh, you know, it's much more representative of what the plant offers. Now, here's what is happening when it gets inside your body. And we can extrapolate this to all the herbs that we do in this process. Because we have the curcumin, which is indigestible by the body, by the way. 97, 98% right. of what you ingest right. goes right out of the body. Right. So we have curcumin. It's indigestible, but it's really anti-inflammatory. We have tumorones, and tumorones are really bioavailable because they're lipids, and every cell in your body is coated by this lipid coating. So fat loves fat, right? Right. Right. 
So these two are bound together. Now you've got an escort for that curcumin to pull it into the um, cells. We've done absorption studies uh, and we, we've shown that in serum, it's in the bloodstream, our, uh, our turmeric product, our holistic extract, actually gets twice the uh, levels in serum of curcuminoids measurable. And it does so in 20 minutes where the peak, if you're uh, taking a, uh, a straight curcumin product or a 95% curcumin uh, preparation, that takes at least an hour to get to its peak. Right. So with 95%, you're getting half the amount and it's taking longer to get there. Now, the longer something's in your bloodstream, the more opportunity it has to be filtered out, the more opportunity it has to um, be excreted by the body. So once that curcumin... Uh, 95% curcumin meets its level, it begins to slowly taper off. And so it's not getting pushed into the tissues. It's getting filtered out of your bloodstream. Ours, the peak goes straight up twice the height of the others and then falls straight in within an hour. It's completely absorbed into the tissues and going to work. Now that can be, like I said, extrapolated to all these herbs because it gets absorbed so much faster and so much more completely that now your body can actually use it. And I don't want to take credit for it. I don't want our company to take credit for it. This is the Vedic's wisdom, right? right. And, I, and I like the idea because when you're actually using the, the lipid component of the plant itself, whether, rather than everybody else is like, I'm adding fat to your food, you know, always take you know, turmeric with or, you know, fatty substance. Sometimes it's an unhealthy fat substance that they're mixing with, right? Um, the idea is that you're actually just complementing the full plant and enhancing the benefits of what the plant is offering itself. What we use so far, for example, is like when we have the, the turmeric powder, and then like you also have boswellia. Most of people who are listening is going to say, well, that sounds similar to your, to your uh, bosmeric product. He does. He has, they have ginger. They have cinnamon. They have ashwagandha. You know, they have all these other, uh, other ingredients. But the nice thing is that, if they, when it, when, that they come in single powders, and they just open it up. And you just take a scoop or half a scoop, but there's different directions on it. But if you just mix it in the water, you can mix it in a smoothie, put it in your food, and it just goes, bam, it's very quick. So the mm -hmm. nice thing is for those people who can't take our bosmeric product, you know, the, which has those other types of components, like curcumin, C3 complex, boswellia, ginger, and black pepper, bilayered, sustained release over eight hours, someone wants to take it more as a food and also put it in, I don't want to swallow capsules or pills, then these are amazing products because it's very quick and it's very effective. We enjoy using them on all our, our, our patients as well. And uh, explain a little bit about now when you put them together, um, what are the differences then when most people are just taking it in a capsule uh, rather, I mean, is it just quick absorption, better efficacy? Well, the, the powders were actually, uh, w was really kind of my idea because I'm so tired of taking capsules. Uh, you know, if you've been in the industry any time at all, you typically will get a regiment that is right. almost overwhelming. I right. mean, yeah. we hear so much information. <laughs> exactly. I right. want to try that. I want to add this to my right. regiment. So you very quickly develop a whole lot of pills. And, you know, I said, I think we need to present this to a way that will improve the uh, patient compliance. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to improve people's ability to take it and the, their desire to take it. So the powders are more of a lifestyle change. At least that's the way I feel. Right. You said you have a sustained release uh, product, which is right. fantastic because it's giving it out to the body in right. little doses all throughout the day. Well, you can do the same thing manually with these powders. You put them in the cool water. You carry that with you all day. Right. It mixes, it mixes so well. And so that's one thing I was really impressed because usually that's why most people move to capsules and tablets because just, it doesn't really dissolve very well. And then, or it falls to the bottom of the glass or the drink and all. This is something like you can shake it in your tea. Uh, I put a little bit of the turmeric in, in the ginger in the morning in my coffee with cinnamon uh, and I also put some saffron. I just, we make these wonderful kind of concoctions. So it's just really an antioxidant, super powerhouse of nutrients. And so... Well, and you can, you can play with it a lot. I mean, some of the recipes on our website are like making popsicles. We, we have a, a herb called Safed Musili. I think we might talk about in a bit. Yeah, but, good. Um, aphrodisiac. Yeah, it's an aphrodisiac. And, you know, you can mix that with applesauce and freeze it on a popsicle stick. And, uh, you know, you've got a, a fun treat. Fun treat, um, people. 
for, for che- adult che- cheaper than Viagra, <laughs> <laughs> but adult also also pain. safer. It won't cause blindness or heart heart <laughs> heart, heart attack or something, chest pain. So yeah, wonderful things, and they're they're easy to mix. You can put the turmeric like in a mango smoothie or in your food. So again, this is another way to add it either directly or indirectly. If some people say I don't want to, I don't like the taste of these things. It's very simple. It mixes super super fine. So I have a, a quick question for you. Um, say you want to put together um, a traditional Ayurvedic formula and you're using all of these single herbs. I know you have formulations, but say you want to put together things using the single herbs. Um, what sort of measurements would you use? Well, that's a good question. Each one of these powders have uh, a recommended dose of one gram a day, which is approximately a half teaspoon. Right. And that's okay. The, that's, that's that's pretty traditional to use half a teaspoon of each of the herbs. And and you can stick to that. Uh, some uh-huh. people may okay. want to tone one down over the other, and, and right. you know because we are talking about a very concentrated powder. Uh, the a yeah, half what? teaspoon of the turmeric is somewhere in the neighborhood of um, the value of seven teaspoons of of raw turmeric. Yeah. What a lot of people don't know is that on the uh, on the extracts on each of the herbs that they do is they will actually do an extract uh, concentration. So it's to 10 to one, a 50 to one, a hundred to one. So that means a hundred times that potency. So they can actually give you less, but it's so much more potent. So that you don't have yeah. to take grams and grams and grams of tra- traditional uh, product. This is something that they keep concentrating, concentrating, and concentrating. So again, after we come back from this break, we will talk about formulas Right. We'll, we'll get into like special things like for sexual health, for memory, for digestion. Uh, and also we'll talk about even certain things called vapes and how we call it doom pond. It's an Ayurvedic way of how do we do medicinal smoking. So we'll be right back after these short messages from our wonderful sponsors who allow us to speak. Again, listen to our sponsors. Please support them. Uh, beta Glucan, Glucan 300, purebetaglucan.com, and also Pure Black without an E, pureblack.com as well. You're clear? Okay, everybody. We're here on Facebook Live, again, talking about these wonderful extract products. Just to show you again, I'm going to get a couple of examples because this is something new that most people are not aware of unless you've looked at Chinese herbs or um, Ayurvedic herbs, is that they do an extract process, which you'll see here, like this one will say a a 20 to 1, um, 15 to 1. This one will say like a 50 to 1 which means it's more concentrated. So they take this large amount, they keep concentrating, 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 and they use that amount. So you, again, you don't have to have take large volumes. It's not grams and grams or capsules and capsules or pills and pills or powders. You can put these small little scoops, a half a teaspoon, a teaspoon in, and the potency is there. So also you could put together uh, concoctions with formulations, skipping that whole process of boiling down the herbs. You're just putting each individual herb in together into water or something water soluble in order to put that into your body very quickly. So that's, that's very convenient. I don't have to cook up everything. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it is. It is convenient. And it's, you know, it's a lot easier than what the Vedics would do. You know, the, their extraction method, like golden milk, for example, milk has right. fat components and it also has a, a water component to it. So they use that to do their own dual extraction. But right. then you got to then you got to get out the tumor root and chop it up and boil it. And thankfully, we're all a little bit uh, a little bit lazy in that manner. And, and, and that gives me a job anyway. Sure. And then also for people who don't want to use the dairy, which we're not recommending anymore, is that since there already is that lipophilic component to the turmeric that, you know, you can probably put it in an alternative beverage and still make your golden alternative milk. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Which is good. Which well, is always good. It, it, yeah. It, it solves, solves the problem right there. Uh, Instant Ayurvedic formulation. I love it. That's great. But I think that's one of the things Dr. Fodke really likes about it too. He he likes the the idea of people taking charge of their own health. Right. Coming um, back, guys. Coming back. Okay. So everybody, again, we have a. Your network. You're listening to Voice America Health and Wellness. <laughs> You are tuned in to Take Back Your Health 
To reach our program today, call 1-866-472-5792. That's 1-866-472-5792. Or by email to radio at sanjevni.net. That's radio at sanjevani.net. Now, let's return to Take Back Your Health. Okay, we're back today. We're talking about Rebel Herbs joining the rebellion with us. Organic, sustainable, high potency, eco friendly, CO2 extract, water filling extracts uh, in powders. And we have, they have wonderful products like turmeric, basoya, ginger, which is like in our bosmeric product. So, for those people who want to put it as a powder, if you want to take capsules, you can just mix the combination together and you have very similar effects. Uh, they also have amla, which everybody knows. Amla is like an a Indian gooseberry, it's super high. Super. Vitamin C. Super, yeah. It's like way, way, way more potent than vitamin C. Uh, cinnamon, which we all know has important effects and studies on cinnamon extracts with blood sugar and uh, lipids and cholesterol. Uh, ashwagandha, holy basil, moringa, which is a big popular thing. We can talk about that. Uh, Shatavari for women's health, which we'll talk in the next segment, some sexual health as aspects. Yay. And Safid Musil, uh, which, is a, which is a nice uh, other new and upcoming herb which I've seen as an aphrodisiac. So now let's get into some formulas because that's what I really like. Aside of individual ingredients, like individual superheroes, we like the whole Avengers kind of concept. Like we have a little bit of everybody adds a more potent, like one plus one equals three aspect. And you have some wonderful um, products. One of them actually has a patent on the formulation and um, has some clinical studies on it as well. Uh, I believe that has to do with memory and cognition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we, we actually, just a, a brief word on the formulation strategy. Dr. Fodke is our formulator, and he prescribes to a strategy called Rasayana. Uh, more common uh, terminology for that would be uh, tridoshic. So if you know anything about Ayurveda, uh, you would know that there are three basic doshas, and then there are sub-doshas be below that. Each dosha is called a constitution or a body type. This is what really prevents a lot of American practitioners from even approaching Ayurveda because it's it's a whole system that you need to learn yeah. to really understand the the entire philosophy. But Rasayana formulations are good for all body types. They're balanced. They're very balancing, and they're very they're very um, rejuvenative. Uh, rejuvenative. That's an excellent term. <laughs> right. Love it. And the and the benefit is remember a lot of people will once they understand a little bit of Ayurveda or have seen a a, a, a whole provider they'll say oh I'm Vata I'm a little bit you know the the wind type I'm or I'm Pitham or the fire type or Kapha you know the earth quality type but this is nice because you don't have to figure that out you can just experience what you know the indication or what we will will kind of explain what it would be used for and not have to get into the full science just know that it is the science has been developed for you. And, and through the processing, you haven't lost any of the efficacy. You've actually increased it. Is that correct? Yeah. I mean, th this, this uh, balancing formula, these Rasayana type uh, formulas, they actually encompass a lot more of the population. And so it, it's actually a more common, uh, well, it's a more common medicine. It's the, the common person's medicine. If you can't afford to go to uh, a physician, you, you need to be able to take a, a generalized medicine. Right. And, and so, so, go ahead. Explain the, the – because uh, I want to get to that, the patent aspect because that is a unique – when we're getting to formulas now because we're all about integrative medicine evidence space. Mm -hmm. And so although we have you know, Ayurveda's evidence space for thousands of years, just for some listeners out there, it's like, well, I want to see you know, why, you know, the, how does this work. I'm like, yeah, there's a, there's a patent on one of the formulas, and they have done some clinical studies. So like, explain on that one specific product what was the outcome or what we were looking for with the combinations of those herbs. Yeah, so the, the uh, formulation is, we, we named the, uh, the five herb blend uh, NeuroLite, and it's used in two of our formulas. It's used in NeuroAid, which is uh, for memory and cognition, and NeuroSteady, which is for focus and attention. So when we looked at um, the, the combination of these herbs, and we looked at the um, studies that were already done on them, we could really kind of foresee what the outcome was going to be. But what we did was we did uh, a clinical trial, uh, phase one and phase two. It was a placebo control, double blind study with, with a second control. The control was, uh, obviously we had the placebo, but we had a drug called Stratera or at least right. the uh, generic. Generic of it, right. 
And um, this was on 144 school-age children, seven to 17. And the bottom line is we saw uh, an improved focus and attention equivalent to the drug group with none of the side effects associated of, with the drug group. Right. So, so for all the people who understand Fantastic. this, it's like people with ADHD, the children, and they're taking these stimulant drugs that although they do focus the mind, they have horrible side effects. Addiction, uh, you know, loss of weight, loss of appetite, increased heart rate palpitations, you know, anxiety aspects. Uh, all Liver toxicity. Of, all sorts of issues. So yeah. this is something that, again, head-to-head -head study, you know, in, 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 in children. And you see an improved focus. So, so anybody, even if they're not taking medicine for an ADHD, and still saying, well, my child or someone has a little bit, even an adult has a little bit of a trouble with focus and attention. This is something that's balanced, not addictive, totally well, safe, evidence. And one of, one of the results was we, we actually did a baseline IQ exam uh, at the beginning of the study. 12 months later at the end of phase two, we did, excuse me, a follow-up IQ. Now, the the average increase was five points on the IQ score. Wow. Wow. That so, means that the lowest IQ score at the end of the study was higher than the highest IQ score at the beginning of the study. And that's just 12 months. That's amazing. Wow, so I think we should amazing. get a whole shipload of this and send it to Washington <laughs> right now. Every, like just, we'll, we'll donate a whole truckload. Everybody in Washington, Congress and POTUS and stuff all can have a little bit uh, of, of neuro steady, neuro focused, neuro aid. I like, think we need more than that. <laughs> they still need to behave, you know. Yes, absolutely. So, so that's for the mind. And then we have, you have products for like immune Immune aid, which is for your immune health. You have something for joints called joint aid. You have something for skin called complexion. Uh, you have stuff for digestion called digest aid. And also for men's health and women's health, we both have these, right? These are for uh, Stammy Max and Sensu Max for women and Fempaws, right? So this is things that are helpful for men's and women's sexual health. And what I like about these things, again, they're not drugs, they're not stimulants, and they're, they're very cost effective and they're very clinically effective. They affect the balance of all the parts of sexual health, like libido. So it's not just like, oh, I feel like it's a Viagra kind of thing. It's like, no, it helps. Some, things, uh, some of the ingredients like Tribulus that they have in there helps improve your free testosterone naturally, right? Yeah, and besides that, there's no side effects. In fact, there's a lot of side benefits because they're good for other systems in the body. Well, when you look at one of the key components in both of those uh, formulations, you're going to see uh, ashwagandha is used right. in quite a few of them. Just looking at the benefit of ashwagandha, uh, alone. Uh, it, it helps improve your sleep quality. It improves your energy during the day. It can improve your strength and your stamina. Um, it, when you just start talking about that, it sounds like a libido in and of itself. Yeah, because what we find is that most patients in America, most of our clients that we see, um, there's interest as everybody's just fatigued, they're tired, they're overworked, right? Everybody's working two, three jobs, paying the mortgage, helping the kids go to school, et cetera. And so, you know, when you can improve their stamina, again, not stimulants, improve the stamina, libido will always lift. Yeah. The problem is right now, everybody's all about st stimulants and they go up and down like a cycle, crashing roller coaster. And here, this is something wonderful that they nice, can take. Nice, even. Kill. Even. Yeah. And, and you feel over time, you feel like more vital. You know, and people feel like, yeah, I have more energy, I have better libido, I have, better, uh, I have less fatigue. And so these are great things that you can use. Again, even you can use these things in combination with most medical re regular medications that we take every day. So it's not a contraindication or, or worry about, oh, my God, is this going to exacerbate something I'm taking? We always use it in conjunction all the time. Mm. Well, and I, I think, you know, just looking at the physiology of, uh, of the interaction between our bodies and, and ashwagandha, uh, it's it's important to know that you know it's working on every level it's working on the sympathetic the parasympathetic nervous systems it's working on our adrenals it increases atp production which is right. the energy oh, that our yes. cells actually produce so right so for the athletics the muscles, for the athletics right? they love it all our, all our sports and high endurance athlete patients i mean ashwagandha is one of their go-tos and now that if we have it as a powder or you have it in a male formula you're getting the best of both worlds mm -hmm, absolutely and also the female formulas as well so uh, we, we also, we try to use some unique ingredients. Dr. Fodke likes to uh, draw from a, a, a well that's pretty deep as far as his understanding. And one of the ingredients we use in the male formula that I just love is called Shilajit. Right. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, a lot of people, they giggle when you say she legit because right. it sounds like you're cussing. Uh, but the only, story, only in Indiana. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so uh, when, you know the story of she legit. Yeah, we actually had a whole episode. We had a whole show. We had a whole oh, show. So everybody's listening. Go back to the the past one about pure black, and <laughs> she'll you. You'll learn about it. But it's a it's a very very important ingredient that will help enhance, uh, and improve all the response other herbs and all the other herbs. And okay, improves cell response, ATP, and bone health, healing, inflammation, etc. So it's a wonderful wonderful thing. And then when we come back after this next commercial break, again, we're going to talk about something unique that most physicians, most patients have never heard is medicinal smoking, vaping. How do we use Ayurvedic herbs, but in a safe way? No chemicals, no solvents, no extract. This is not an e-cigarette. This is actually something that's actually helpful for certain medical conditions. And they have it all packaged, ready to go. We'll talk about that right when we come back. It's called Doom du Pond, right? Doom Pond. All right. Du all right. Doom pot. Okay. All right. And so again, medicinal smoking, rebel herbs, join the rebellion. We'll be right back after this short break from our sponsors. All right. You're clear. All right, everybody. This is a great show. Thank you for watching on Facebook live. We're learning so many wonderful things. We, we just finished talking about um, a lot of herbs that are good for uh, our adaptogens help you with stress. And so we'll talk about this when we come back on the show, but uh, things like ashwagandha is really wonderful. Uh, things like tribulus, shatavari for women's health as well. Um, and they have not only wonderful individual products that are powders that you can just mix and put in your foods or water or beverage, but now they also have formulas like for immune health and for um, male sexual vitality, female sexual vitality. The nice thing is that this can be added. So when we use things like... Um, beta glucans, right? Uh, and we have, uh, actually, I'll mention on the air, a, a new study, a study, this fourth, the fourth study came out, coming out showing the benefits of beta glucans. This product here, ImmuneAid, works differently. And so by stimulating other aspects of the immune system and taking some things that are very specific, it's just, again, a synergistic way, taking the pure black, the Shilaji resin, taking that, putting that in with some of the powders. Again, this is how you develop a regimen. We like to teach people how to develop a regimen of taking back their health. These are things that you can add when you're sick. These are things that you need to do to add to optimize your health. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Immune would work really well with beta-glucan because beta-glucan is actually acting on, you know, your white blood cells right. and your cells and all that. Whereas the, um, the Immune is more of a, like a bot botanical antioxidant. It actually, it stimulates the body's own production of antioxidants, but it, it reduces inflammation tissue, uh, non-tissue, specific so wonderful so we'll say, we'll say this on the air because that's something very interesting because we want to talk about synergies always oh yeah, and yeah it's, it's, never, it's never about competition it's like how do i make this and this and so i'm not taking re repetitive products i'm actually adding to the recipe yeah one of the things i was interested to see part of our traditional Here we go. Ayur okay i'll come back and tell you that in a minute <laughs> you are tuned in to take back your health to reach our program today, call 1-866-472-5792. That's 1-866-472-5792. Or by email to radio at sanjevni.net. That's radio at sanjevani.net. Now, let's return to Take Back Your Health. Welcome back, everybody. We had this wonderful discussion during the break, but we want to recap it again, is that when we're looking at certain things like um, Glucan 300, okay, that's a patented form. It's the highest potency of uh, pure beta 1,3-D glucan. That's what we use. Actually, A.G. Langan, who we had on the show earlier, go back and listen to that on strengthening your immunity. Um, there's actually a fourth study that just came out this week. He emailed me on the comparison of that glucan versus 43 other products on the market in vitro and in vivo studies. Again, showing it's number one. That's why we use it. So go to purebetaglucan.com and you can learn more about that. And we'll actually post the fourth uh, study online. And also on any of the products we talk about, uh, the Glucan 300, the Pure Black, uh, which is a, the Shila G product, the live resin, and any of the Rebel Herbs, just go to sanjevani.net or rebelherbs.com, enter the promo code PAI and you'll get a discount. Now, Jason and I were talking about, you know, this product that they have called ImmunoAid and uh, ImmuneAid, sorry, 
uh, Immune Aid has a different aspect of supporting your immune function that would work synergistically with beta glucans. So explain that a little bit. Well, you know, it was originally designed to be a botanical antioxidant. So it's stimulating the body's own production of antioxidants uh, by, you know, generating SOD and glutathione through our bodies. We don't have that, that short half-life. If you're taking it supplementally, it doesn't really last in the body very long uh, in that environment. If you're producing it from your own organs, then it's going to be uh, much more beneficial. Plus, all the herbs in our formulation are anti-inflammatory in a non-tissue specific way. So there's an herb in there called Gaducci, which, uh, yeah, there you go. Inflammation nation. So again, <laughs> this is helpful for the inflammation as well. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, reducing inflammation is, is kind of the key to, to maintaining health. It's a big right. part of our immune system. And when we overstimulate it, uh, you know, it, it doesn't do us any good. So. All right, so Immune Aid will work with the Glucan 300, and all these products you can work better with using a um, Pure Block. Now, one thing I want to start off talking with is vaping. Now, a lot of people think about vaping like e-cigarettes or cannabis, right? And one of the things that we see, we see a lot of cancer patients, we see a lot of people who, who use medical cannabis, I'm being one of the experts in CBD over the last eight years in the United States and publishing and talking about it, and working with various companies on bringing those kind of extracts to the market. One of the things that I've had a problem with is that the carrier that they put these compounds, whether it's an e-cigarette, which I don't agree with at all, or even the medical cannabis that they're putting in vapes, the problem is with, the, with these, with these uh, products is that they have carriers. And the carriers that take this oil extract and you know, are able to vape it through high temperature, they are actually toxic. You know, they have these propylene, glycol, and, and poly, you know, whatever other chemicals. Are, there's a bunch of chemicals. And all they are, they are generally recognized as safe. Um, now there's a lot of studies coming out showing that there is links to actually damage in lung and causing actually other inflammatory and other health dangers. So people think, oh, I'm using a, a general extract. Now where this comes in, which is super novel, and it's again why when I met Garish, I was like, you guys are genius, in my opinion, is because they took out, there's no polypropylene glycol, there is no chemicals, there is no solvents. They actually use a flaxseed oil. Which is and, very good for your body. So that itself has yes. other qualities, but that's what's, you know, so that's the base oil that's actually being vaporized with the wonderful herbs. So they actually have a product that's joint aid, and it's very similar to the Bosmeric. So it's got the basoya, it's got the ginger, it's got the turmeric, and it's got some other ingredients which are wonderful there. But it's basically like, how can I get this anti-inflammatory action not only into my body faster, but into the lungs? So for our patients that have bronchitis, any itis issues of the lungs, we use this as a great aspect of how do we get that delivery into the specific area that might have an issue. Now, they actually sell it for the use of your joints and the rest of your body, but we like to look at it from an Ayurvedic perspective, taking the medicine and getting it directly into the area that might have issue. Now, they also have other types of vapes. One's called Serenade, and this is great because for those people who have a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of trouble sleep, a little bit of difficulty, you just, I need to calm my mind down. Don't take a Xanax. Don't take any of these prescription drugs. This is something that they can just vape, and they start feeling a little bit calmer. You know, yeah. what, are, what other, which other ones do you have as well? I know you have something for energy and you also have also the memory, the neuro aid as well. Well, yeah, we have the neuro aid is, is basically the same formulation that's in the capsule that we did the studies on. Um, we actually had a physician that did some, um, some preliminary studies on the uh, brainwave activity and he showed just long story short, he had a very few participants, but, uh, he showed a 58% uh, increase in brain wave activity uh, 20 minutes after using the, the NeuroAid vapor. Wow. Uh, so we're going to pursue that. We're going to see um, long term what kind of benefits we'll get. Uh, there's some indication that that improvement may continue on as you, uh, uh, as you continue to use it. Uh, the fourth blend that we have is one called uh, Energy Plus. Energy Plus. We, we call it Energy because... You know, I, at the end of the day, I got to sell a product. So uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's an ashwagandha vape. Right. And so ashwagandha, we know it doesn't really give us energy so much as it reduces fatigue. But, right. but, you know, reduces fatigue is just really not a great 
It didn't roll right. off the tongue. It, it helps with balancing cortisol and adaptogen, which is everybody has stress. So again, yeah. everybody can use this. You know, with that particular vape, the energy vape is actually fantastic for people who are trying to quit smoking for, for oh. several reasons. Ah. Number one, you've got ashwagandha. Right. Which you both know ashwagandha is great for helping to uh, stop addiction. It's, it's uh, very beneficial uh, to support the body during that process. So you're helping the body break that addiction. You're continuing to allow these people to uh, uh, socialize. You know, they can go out with everybody on their smoke break, do a few vapes. Right. Uh, they still have that oral fixation going on. Plus, some of the other ingredients in that formula is cinnamon, cardamom, and saffron. It's just a beautiful flavor profile, but it's very spicy. So it kind of hits them in the back of the throat, like regular cigarette would. Right. So they get that full experience without actually inhaling nicotine, smoke, tar, or any chemical solvents. And reduces their anxiety. Mm -hmm. Helps them sleep better. Right. Um, we've done our talk studies on all of these blends uh, at five times uh, a normal dose. There is zero toxicity. And most people, what do they do? They, 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 they inhale the vapor and it comes with a, it comes in a pack, comes with a pen, comes with like a little USB charger for those people who are new to this like me. And uh, cause I don't smoke and all and all. So you, you charge it on your computer and then it's got a little light. You just put it in your mouth, take a puff, hold it for like a 30 seconds to a minute and blow it out. And you, you actually will feel the effects, especially when I feel like with the, I just did that and yeah, I did feel the you know, effects. And you can feel the effects. And even with the serenade and the, and the, and the NeuroAid one, it's really, qu it's pretty quick. Like you notice a little bit like a pickup or a calming pretty quickly. So again, something new for everybody, just looking at this called Doom Pond in Ayurveda. And this is a medicinal smoking again. Well, today we, it was a great show. We had Jason Edwards here. Uh, from Rebel Herbs. You go to rebelherbs.com to learn more, or you can go to sangevinestore.com uh, and learn about that. Again, enter promo code PAI for any kind of discount. Um, wonderful herbs, organic, sustainable, eco-friendly, cooperative, CO2, waterphilic, you name it, it's there. It's a great product. Again, waterphilic. Yeah, we waterphilic. We, we want waterphilic. To do, we, that's a new one. So I'll we write that down, Doc. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. I'll, I'll trademark that one. So we want to thank our sponsors, uh, 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 Glucan 300. We want to talk, uh, thank our sponsors, pureblack.com Pure without an E. And more importantly, everybody, go to our website, sangevini.net, and join us and learn about our food as medicine retreat in Curacao coming soon, August 5th through 11th. You go to the website. You can see the whole itinerary, wonderful, all-inclusive resort, all organic. We will teach you how to make food as medicine, how to make foods, uh, prepare foods, how to eat plant-based. And wonderful guests will be joining us, Robert Scott Bell from the Robert Scott Bell Show. So, And ladies, you will love this formula. Fempaz and Sensu Max, both of them are wonderful. I've tried them. I love them. Thank you. Good. Everybody, until next week. Uh, take back your health and best of health. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right, you're clear. All right, everybody. We're on Facebook Live. We're here with Jason Edwards. We're going to hang out for a few more minutes. Uh, it was a great, great show. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, go back and listen to it so that you can go and write down some of these herbs. And I just want to mention them again because there's a, some of them might be new to a lot of people, but they have wonderful formulas. Maureen was talking about Fempaz. For, it's kind of like... Uh, for for menopausal symptoms, it's got pomegranate, ashwagandha, licorice, tribulus, and borahaba diffusa. Okay, uh, we have the Sensu Max for females, the Stamina Max for males. Great, great tonics. We're talking about like sexual health again, not getting you up or down. It's just like, how do I feel more balanced, more, more, just my better libido, better stamina, less. And not, not just sexual health. Anyone over forty needs these rejuvenative herbs. Rasayana, Rasayana right? So it's all rejuvenative. Digestate for those people who have digestion problems. It's got the ginger, it's got the fennel, it's got other herbs in there that actually will help. Like di instead of just taking the digestive enzyme, again, we're making more food the medicines. We're actually using the herbs that will assist in that. And also something from complexion, which is interesting. We didn't get to talk about that, but you have something that actually will helps with skin health. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, that's an amazing product. And, and uh, my staff likes to take samples out uh, of the uh, office and, and give them to folks in the, in the community. Right. And we've had so many great results uh, coming from that. Uh, Amla, uh, Rubia, Cardifolia, turmeric, neem, and black pepper. 
Oh, oh yeah. beautiful formula. So you, you just looking at amla and neem together right. for skin health, it improves collagen production. It, it, it's antibacterial, antifungal. And we've seen teenage acne uh, improved with just two weeks. Wow. Uh, yeah, the neem has such a very antimicrobial effect, anti-inflammatory effect. And again, you know, it's great to stimulate your own collagen rather than people drinking collagen. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, uh, so again, uh, like, like, let's go back to nature, not throw away products of other industries at the other booths at the conferences that we're trying to sell. Right? Waste so, products. So yes. we, we like the idea that, you know, that these are, again, like going back to traditional Ayurvedic medicine and using wonderful wonderful ways even biodynamic growing is just so unique most people don't understand biodynamics and and respecting the nature and the laws of nature and farming practices with the insects and the animals and the, the sun and the calendar and the moon is just amazing it's, it's not easy i mean that that's a very no, difficult not. practice and when you look at things like uh creating a pesticide from cow urine cow dung and neem oil Right. Mm -hmm. there, there's not a lot of farmers here in the U.S. that are really wanting to do something. Right. Like that. Right. And they usually will spray like you know a Monsanto product or a chemical and an Agent Orange type product, and and wonder why their crop is not going or why is everybody now moving towards organics? Because we now know that we have to really go back to traditional ways, and also we have to step out of our comfort zone and say, hey, what are, what have they been doing for four thousand, five thousand years? You know, we didn't have all these chemical companies until just recently, in the last you know you know thirty, forty years. Uh, heavily using this in the food supply. So now we can look at what are our health ramifications from that kind of cheating the nature. Again, we can't biohack the body and we can't biohack with nature. We have to do is go back and respect the laws of nature. Well, we, we, we're trying to develop some um, programs that are going to help uh, nurture that for the future as well. We, we actually have a, uh, an arrangement with uh, NUNM, which is a, a naturopathic right. college. I, I actually spoke there last, last year. On Fantastic. CBD, I gave a lecture on CBD. Yeah. Well, we're actually uh, we've invited their um, their students to come Excellent. to India, and they're going to actually see. We have some beautiful botanical gardens at our farms that highlight the herbs that we're using as they grow, and uh, they'll get a chance to see uh, Chhatavari right. as uh -huh. it's growing in the ground and what it looks like before we pull those roots out of the ground and before those roots are extracted. Okay. Uh, so it's a great, uh, it's great opportunity for them and it's a great opportunity for the world because now we're actually getting back to, hey, where did all this come from? It's not just a capsule that's totally right. removed from our, our, our own reality. It's, it's something that we have, you know, a kinship to. It's, yeah, even ourselves, like it's nice when you actually see the physical plant, mm -hmm. you know, or the tree or the shrub. Uh, we were in Curacao and what we're going to do in our retreat is that there's actually a, a herb farm that a famous an icon of the island has kept all the local indigenous herbs for like you know 80 years she's been collecting them oh, wow. and when we take it like every every plant has a story just like in Ireland, you go to the farm they will tell you a story but the story is just, like itself is a huge story of like this one little plant and how it was used here how it was used there and and it's yeah. just like, it, you really are drawn to a really impress and respect nature a lot of times, yeah, we'll see it. It says ashwagandha. It says this. It says that. It comes in a capsule. It's at the store. It's on this nice package. But we know, like, if I saw it in my backyard, I wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. But what does I mean, it take, you know, totally altitude different. and soil and all that, how that changes the phytoconcentrates that are you are now extracting specifically through your products. Oh, yeah. I, and one of the things I enjoy the most, I think, when I visit the farm is, is our uh, pomegranate trees, which we, we planted some pomegranate groves in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, one of our farms called Natril. And it's, it's right at the edge of a reservoir. So when you're standing amongst the, the pomegranate trees, you're looking out over this beautiful reservoir in this, uh, in this uh, mountainous area. And there's something very calming. It, it, it kind of... Uh, it kind of harkens back to, uh, you know, uh, uh, biblical times or medieval right. times. Uh, and to see those, those pomegranates growing, you know, um, I guess it's more magical for me because I know what that's going to turn into. I know what kind of medicine that is and how it's being proven by science today, but how it's been used for thousands, literally thousands of years. Yeah, when you see the video, I think Gersh showed us the video, like the drone flying over the farms, and you're just like, wow, it's just luscious, it's beautiful. It's kind of like that serene, tranquil, peaceful, like, 
that's what we wish the whole planet was like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would definitely love to come and visit the farm out there. I think it would be a wonderful experience. Well, come and visit. Uh, you know, uh, just give us a couple weeks notice. We'll, we'll roll out the welcome wagon and, and, and bring you out to the farms. Okay. It's a great experience. Um, and there's some good food there. Yeah. So uh, that's important. Yeah. <laughs> if you like Indian food, I don't know. Oh, I yeah. love it. Yes. Any, anything else you want to really focus in on? Tell the audience on Facebook Live that's kind of unique about yourself, or something that's up and coming with the company, or maybe new things on the horizon to pay attention to in the industry or your company. Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of specific herbs that are up and coming, and we try to look for those kind of things that uh, we want to monetize, but. You know, looking at some of the herbs that we're using that are unique, um, that are just now coming of age, amla is one that I, I think everyone should do a little bit of research on. You should, you should um, Google amla and amalaki, which is the, the uh, Sanskrit name. And, uh, you know, with our company, one of our goals is to develop a vapor uh, and a massage oil for each of the main uh, formulas that we have. We've nice. done that with joint aid. We've got, um, you know, the joint aid formula is actually, uh, it's been through clinical trials comparing it to diclofenac. Uh, right. I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, it's, it's an NSAID, yes. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's one of the most popular ones in Asia, which makes it the most popular one in the world. Right. Um, one of the most it, deadly ones in the world as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got and the it, black box warning, by the way. It, yeah, so. it, worked on, uh, it worked on par with uh, diclofenac for right. reducing inflammation. But you still have to rely on the person's digestion to get it in there. So we developed the joint aid vapor to give people an acute benefit right now. So you've got the vapor for today. You've got the supplement for long-term benefit. And then we developed a uh, joint aid massage oil, which has the same chemical or the same makeup on it. Um, ginger, turmeric, and boswellia. And you can rub that on site and it gives you, uh, you know, on site uh, benefit. And so the idea is we want to build these, um, these, these trifectas, these uh, little miniature brands to help people combat a, a chronic condition using, you know, a, an acute delivery system like the Vapors, but also using, you know, long-term. Um, yeah, I love the idea of different delivery systems because everybody's, you know, where they're at with their stage of health or what their immediate or long-term needs uh, has to be addressed differently sometimes. So getting a, a vape, sure. or putting a topical or something that they ingest or something they can mix as a powder, the more flexibility, then the more compliant also they are. Otherwise, sometimes like, oh, I take this, but I don't feel like that. Then they're, they don't take anything. I'm like, well, here, if you're having the benefits, but you don't want to take in that form, maybe we can still use the vape or maybe we can still rub, rub the joint with the same kind of ingredients. Oh, yeah. yeah it's sometimes it's, you know, just like even with CBD, sometimes it's not appropriate to, to uh, use a vapor whenever you're using CBD. Sometimes it's a it's needed for faster effects. Uh, if you take a CBD gummy with you to uh, India, you'll probably end up with a CBD liquid at the end of the day. <laughs> exactly, that would not be good. <laughs> Pretty hot there. Yeah. Um, so you know, I mean, yeah, I I think not only is it personal preference, but there's also situational preference as well. Yeah, and as a massage therapist and Ayurvedic practitioner, I really appreciate that you're coming out with these oils. They're wonderful. Great. Yeah, we, we, we put all of them in a base of sesame and coconut to give it, you know, a luxurious feel, but to actually get also make it so it absorbs in very quickly. Uh, one, of, one of the things that, that uh, people complained about when we were bringing oils over originally was that they kind of develop a stickiness or a tackiness to them. Mm -hmm. So our, our, our formulators went in and started playing around and our, our charge was we don't want to use any any synthetics at all. We want to make sure that this is completely right. natural, straight from nature. And that's we've got a nice blend of coconut and sesame. It gives you a luxurious feel and a, and a quick absorption. Which is nice because you know many of the many of the uh, uh, massage oils that are made for the industry, you know, like massage groups and the big uh, franchise and all. What they use, they actually have endocrine disruptors. So these these chemicals that they're using synthetics actually affect the therapists themselves. Uh, through absorption of their skin, not just the client's skin, but they're working with it all day, a couple, you know, a couple of hours, a couple of day, you know, every day a week, you know, with all the, every every client. Yeah, they develop toxic liver syndrome. Yeah, so they actually, and so they actually have documented and that with some of the 
hormonal problems. And so it's like this, this going back again to, you know, no one had this problem when you did traditional ways, but they want to make some quick synthetic thing, you know. Uh, so I really appreciate taking all the time and effort and all the people from all the cooperative farms. We also want to thank them for also growing these herbs for us and for Mother Nature for allowing us to take care of those herbs and actually share them with the world. Wow. And I look forward to doing that in person. <laughs> well, I tell you, we, 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 we're honored to be associated with all the farmers that, uh, that help us every day. And uh, they, they, they love what they do. They're yeah. very proud of what they do and the contribution they're making, not only to you know, their economy, but also to the, the world of health and, and Ayurveda as a whole. So uh, we, we welcome everyone to visit us. We're open book. We ask for a little bit of notice, but um, uh, we, we take care of everybody. We've never turned anybody away from our farms. We let everybody come in. Even if they're competitors, they can come and see what we're doing. We, we wow. challenge everyone. To, uh, yeah, because to because at the end of the day, you know, most people who are competitors, when they don't go all this way, they won't come because they can't they can't match. I mean, that's how we work with all our products, and this is why we're talking about your products today. Because when we look at that that the extent that someone goes through from farm to table that aspect, then it's like you, you can't cheap it out. You can't use some kind of synthetic or generic or something. You have to use the real the real deal, and it's respecting it from all the way from the beginning to the end. So I, I do appreciate you. I do appreciate the farmer. I do appreciate you coming and taking the time. And everybody can go to rebelherbs.com to learn more about uh, the Rebel Herbs and joining the rebellion, or you can go to sanjevanystore.com. Either way, uh, you can enter PAI, PAI as a promo code and get a little discount for listening to this wonderful show. Please share uh, and like us on Facebook, share with family, friends, repost all, and go back to listen to all the archives. If you are just new to this show, go back. We have wonderful episodes talking about immune uh, inflammation, microbiome, glyphosate toxicity. We got experts in every field. We got unique companies that we have vetted for being clinically effective, safe, and, and natural. So again, everybody, I want to thank you for listening around the world. Thank you again. All those people outside the United States, we want to thank because it's cool to have people listening worldwide. And I thank you very much for bringing organic, sustainable health to the world. Thank you. Uh, on the behalf of all our farmers, I thank you guys. Uh, we really uh, enjoy being here, and uh, we're going to continue to march forward and, and try and uh, push this agenda. And our agenda really is quite simple. We want to simplify Ayurveda, and we want to continue to grow the organic movement in India. Right. So for all the integrative and holistic practitioners out there, a great uh, product line to carry to just introduce how to use beneficial Ayurvedic herbs and formulas and vapes to your practice without understanding all the science, just knowing that we've done the research, they've done the homework, and it's pretty easy to use to get your patients better. Excellent. All right, all right everyone. See you until next Thank week. Thank you. See you later, and uh, best of health. See you. Thanks. <laughs>